What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a smooth glide and a smooth turn in any of your projects. And you can make this in animations, games, and intros and outros. So without further ado, let's get started. First, open up a new Scratch project. Next, go to my blocks and we are going to create a, a custom block. Call the block smooth glide to X and we're going to add an input called X add a label Y add an input called Y and then add another label called um, not smooth speed and add an input called speed and then click OK so go to control and get a repeat until loop then get a, go to operators and drag in an and, and in the right side of the and, left side, we're going to put an equals. Then drag in a round into the left side of the equals. And we'll say, repeat until round x is equal to round x position, which is in motion. And change this to y, and change this to y position. So repeat until round x equal to round y position and round y is equal to round y position. I mean round x is equal to round x position. So here we're going to change x and change y by round x minus round x position divided by speed. And then duplicate this. But instead, we need to change it so it's Y. And then finally, we need to go to X, X, y, and Y, Y. So let's drag in that one green flag is clicked. We're going to first go to zero, zero. And let's say we smooth glide over here. So drag in our custom block and say, um, x 155 y 78 and speed of 6 so it smooth glides over there and you can change this value if you want if we say 1 it instantly goes there because it's super fast but if we we do like 3 it's fast but uh, not it doesn't instantly go there but if you do like 50, it goes really slow. And you can do that if you want. But yeah. So now I'm going to show you how to do a smooth turn. So make another custom block called smooth turn. And then we're going to say direction. And we're going to add an input called direction. And also we need to add a label called speed like we did last time. And then add an input called speed. And then click OK. So here we're going to make it similar to this. We're going to drag in a repeat until loop. And we're going to repeat until round direction is equal to round direction and motion, but not this direction. And in here, we're going to turn. We're going to turn round direction minus round the actual direction divided by speed and then finally let's point in direction direction so let's say we smooth glide over there and then we do a smooth turn say 50 and a speed of 6 oh let me change this so it does that smooth turn effect and yeah so you can put these in your backpack or you can uh, memorize this and make it yourself if you need to make it.
But anyways, thanks for watching. And leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next Crash Tutorial. Peace out.